Ever wondered why it's crucial to prioritize your own well-being in your relationships, especially with those who seem to drain you emotionally? Well, let's talk about that. It's easy to get caught in the turbulent currents of someone else's emotions, particularly when that someone is a master at emotional manipulation. But here's the thing, your emotional health matters. It's the foundation of your overall well-being and the key to maintaining healthy relationships. When you allow others to dictate your emotional state, you're giving them an immense amount of power over your life. This is particularly true when dealing with narcissists, who often project their insecurities onto others and use emotional manipulation as a tool for control. But remember, your well-being is not a bargaining chip. It's not something to be compromised. You deserve to be in relationships that nurture your emotional health, not drain it. Let's delve into seven compelling reasons why you should always prioritize your own emotional health. Firstly, remember this. It's not your job to manage someone else's insecurities or anxieties. Narcissists, in particular, have a way of projecting their own insecurities onto others, making those around them feel as if they're walking on eggshells. Their emotions can be as volatile as a stormy sea, and they often expect others to play the role of the lighthouse, guiding them through their emotional turbulence. But here's the thing, you are not the lighthouse. You are not the keeper of their emotional well-being. It's not your duty to absorb their anxieties, to be their punching bag when things go awry. You have your own emotional landscape to navigate. You have your own storms to weather. So don't let anyone make you feel as though it's your responsibility to keep them afloat. You are not an emotional caretaker for anyone but yourself. Secondly, be aware of emotional blackmail and prioritize your own needs. Narcissists can masterfully use their emotions as a weapon of control painting a picture of themselves as victims and you as the perpetrator. This guilt tripping is a classic form of emotional blackmail, designed to make you feel responsible for their happiness or unhappiness. It's a manipulative cycle that can drain your emotional energy and leave you feeling powerless. But here's the truth. You are not responsible for anyone else's emotions. You have every right to focus on your own needs and well-being. Your emotions, your mental health, your peace all matter. Prioritizing your own emotional health allows you to cultivate healthier relationships and build a fulfilling life. It's not selfish, it's necessary. It's not cruelty, it's self-care. Your well-being is paramount and should never be compromised. Thirdly, setting healthy boundaries is key. Boundaries are like invisible fences that we put up to protect our emotional garden. When we constantly take responsibility for others' emotions, especially those of a narcissist, we tend to blur these boundaries. This leaves us vulnerable to manipulation, affecting our emotional health. So, how do we set these boundaries? It starts with recognizing your needs and emotions as valid and important. It's about saying no when you need to, without feeling guilty. It's about understanding that you can't pour from an empty cup and that it's okay to prioritize yourself. Setting clear and consistent boundaries isn't about shutting people out, but rather about protecting your emotional space. It fosters self-respect and allows you to maintain a healthy distance from emotionally draining situations and individuals. It's a vital step in prioritizing your well-being. Remember, your boundaries are your personal guardrails. Fourthly and fifthly, recognizing manipulation and breaking the cycle are crucial steps. Narcissists often use emotional manipulation tactics like guilt tripping, blaming, and minimizing to control others. They might make you feel guilty for their unhappiness or blame you for their own shortcomings. These tactics are designed to keep you in a constant state of anxiety and self-doubt, making it easier for them to control you. However, recognizing these tactics is the first step to breaking free. When you understand the mechanisms of manipulation, you can begin to disengage and protect your emotional well-being. Breaking the cycle of manipulation is the next step. This involves refusing to take on the emotional burdens of the narcissist. By doing so, you empower yourself to focus on your own emotional growth and build healthy relationships. Remember, you're not a puppet on a string, dancing to someone else's tune. You have the power to break free from the cycle of manipulation. Lastly, investing in your emotional health is an investment in your happiness and well-being. It's like putting your money in a high-interest savings account. But instead of financial returns, you're rewarded with a life that supports your emotional growth. This investment allows you to build resilience, a quality that helps you bounce back from life's challenges with a stronger sense of self. Just as a tree's roots grow deep into the soil, 
your emotional resilience grows deeper with each challenge you face and overcome. By investing in your emotional health, you're also investing in setting healthy boundaries. These are the fences that protect your emotional garden, allowing only the good to come in and keeping the harmful out. This investment, like any good one, yields returns that are far-reaching and long-lasting. It creates a life that is not just survivable, but truly supportive, nurturing, and fulfilling. Investing in yourself is the best investment you can make. To summarize, prioritizing your well-being is not just beneficial but essential. Let's quickly revisit the seven reasons we've discussed today. Firstly, managing someone else's emotions, especially a narcissist's, is not your job. Secondly, beware of the emotional blackmail that can lead to guilt and manipulation. Thirdly, remember to prioritize your own needs. These are the seeds from which a fulfilling life grows. Setting healthy boundaries, our fourth point, is a crucial step in protecting your emotional space. Fifthly, knowing how to recognize manipulative tactics empowers you to disengage and safeguard your well-being. Breaking the cycle of manipulation and control, our sixth point, allows you to focus on your own emotional growth. And finally, investing in yourself is the greatest investment you can make. Remember, you are worthy of happiness, respect, and emotional security. Prioritize your well-being and build a life filled with joy and self-respect.